Hello. This video, I uh, just wanted to share a quick little something that is like pertinent to research overall. Just the idea of researching itself and how we research, research. Because one thing I've been realizing over these last few years, I'm talking about flat Earth, is that flat Earth is not so much about flat Earth. Flat Earth is about how you think. It doesn't matter what you know what anybody else is saying. Heliocentrism was a mechanism to control the way you think how you think it's an illusion it's a it's a it's a it's a show to distract you to consume your mind long enough so that it reprograms the functioning of your mind when you see heliocentrism as a power move you see it as a move to affect the functioning of your thought process so that you're functioning the thoughts themselves they don't matter over a certain amount of time if the function of those thoughts are channeled directly into the system that has been prepositioned to consume your time consume your energy so the illusion itself that's so far out there this is why the realm has to be an illusion for you one thing that <clears throat> uh, it, it has to be a, an illusion for you because it's not so much about the intricacies of the illusion it's the fact that you've been consumed by an illusion so this is what I'm talking about in flat earth where flat earth itself is of no matter the models really don't matter the science don't matter none of this matters because if that is the only thing that matters, which is what the so-called leaders of this flat earth movement, these people who claim not to be leaders, but their dopey asses consider, you know, constantly are out there. You can see like this is what the news wants you to look at. I just typed in flat earth and these are the videos that come up. National Geographic, The Guardian, Nerdist, ABC, Vice News. Um, CBS, ABC, Logan Paul, Big Think, Star Talk, Tech Insider. See, these are all YouTube channels that are designed to control how you think. That is an entire consciousness. The so called Flat Earth community jumped into Flat Earth under the consciousness of what you think what to think about the things and then even further than that the the flat earth's part of the so-called flat earth community was is and was focused on who like who is talking about what you should think about so that's an even step further away from how you think because you're you're talking about the busy work of how somebody else interprets and a what illusion. So you're two steps away from actually facing this situation from a space of baseline empowerment. If you're talking about what, you're already put behind how to think. If you're talking about who, you're already put two steps behind how to think and one step behind what to think about. This is why I came down so hard three years ago, almost four years ago now, on this so-called flat earth community, because not only were they telling you what to think about in flat earth, but they were also like, f like making you, making, making you only like making it un, like uh, creating a situation where if you talked about anything involving how flat earth like how you think in reference to flat earth if you were talking about that they they meaning the mainstream flat earthers they categorized you or labeled you as um some kind of disinfo agent or uh, being divisive or something like that and that's because 
the people who are stuck in a what and who consciousness, they can't at all comprehend somebody who's coming from how this stuff fits together. No different than an individual who is completely consumed by the heliocentric illusion who can't even entertain the idea of a flat earth because they have constantly been sucked into the the what and the and the who so how is an in totally different different universe of consciousness it's in a totally different universe of thinking where if that universe of thinking is existing near or around the the uh, other the, the what's in the how or the what's in the the what and the who consciousness it will be like a short circuit like they will <clears throat> they will want to remove you from their sphere because you're you're threatening the the um stability of their universe for lack of a better word but it's the same thing in like the the, the same thing happens to uh, globe globe believers it's it's a belief problem and i'm using glad i use that word is because once you get into if you're only talking about flat earth from the perspective of what and who you're still in a belief consciousness you can only get out of the belief consciousness once you start to get into the how and the why. You're, you're still in the belief consciousness, like firmly planted in the belief consciousness, when you're talking about what and who. There's nothing else, there's nowhere else to go other than you have to sell beliefs. See, Flat Earth is, has, has become packaged. It's a thing. It's, it's kind of like when... Uh, when so-called white people tell black people that they don't respect them because they don't even think that they don't hold the space of equality up to white people. Like back in the day, white people who claim to be like forward thinking, they're like, I'm not even going to entertain somebody who's in like a victim program. But this is the thing. This is not being a victim or about being equal. This is about being an aware of what's going on. And beyond that. Who the fuck said that you are the standard of equality? Like who gave white people the standard of equality to reach? White people did. So-called white people. So this is this is a, 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 a mechanism of how you think. See, that that reality wasn't even addressed in the flat earth community. It was accepted. It was accepted. So-called black or brown people or whatever you know other than white people because that's a construct it's a consciousness it's a thought frame that developed into a belief in a physical thing um, so the whiteness convinced people that how and why the story of flat earth is important how how heliocentrism came to be how and why is not important it was it was not even an issue the last three or four years because the authority figures who have been the authority figures over the last hundreds of years convinced you and they were also used by the system Netflix and so on and so forth to promote the what consciousness and this is beneficial to people who are not really about change on that massive scale they're only about that change within the system People, this, the flat earth talking about what consciousness, see, <clears throat> let me, let me go a little bit further into an example of, uh, this level or this style of thinking or being, cause that's what it really is. When you're in a church, that's a total belief system, right? And what is it that they're telling you to believe in? They tell you to believe in Jesus, the word of God coming through the church, uh, your religion being the main religion and other religions are broken or they're, they're, they're not the right religions. And this is what I'm talking about, the, the, the ways we think. So this, this is the macro scale. This has nothing to do with, you know, Christians who are like the real Christians. I get that all the time when in the comment section, anytime I mention Christianity, it's always the real Christians who have something to say against the, 
you know, the mainstream Christians. Uh, uh, that, why the fuck, if there are fake Christians out there, why the hell aren't the real Christians the ones that are actually putting a focus and shining a light on the fake Christians? If it's really like about that shit, if it's a really if it's really about, you know, that realness. Why is just a regular, why isn't the, the fake Christian movement a bigger issue for so-called real Christians? Well, you know why it isn't is because the so-called real Christians are under the same belief systems as the fake Christians. It's a, it's a belief. What your belief is in color and their belief is in black and white. What the fuck is the difference? It's still a belief. So... <clears throat> This is what I'm saying. The, the, the beings who are heavily anchored in that belief system consciousness and way of thinking and being are going to interpret anything in their realm from that same kind of perspective. They will interpret even the biggest lie in the world only from the perspective or the, the, the frequency of what, is, what, is, uh, what their capabilities are, what they're equipped to. So the biggest lie in this consciousness could be interpreted from a PhD perspective, but is only being interpreted from a kindergarten perspective because that's what is, is normal in society today. It's, it's, it's the science. It's the baseline. And not only that, internally, people still have this this need and desire for the attention attached to something like this. So this is why you have the the Mark Sargents out there who are constantly saying it's not about him, it's not about, you know, this and that, but they never talk about anything other than what is directly connected to the way they think. So anytime Mark Sargent does an interview, he he he's created this little uh, it's very slick. It's a, it's a, what do they call it on Benjamin's, um, where you're just talking in in circles basically, and those circles are 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 they're not lie. It's not lying, but it's it's echo chamber. So he's created his own echo chamber that has been echoing for a few years now so it seems like it has some kind of uh, re relevance it, it, it seems real in some kind of way um, yeah so why is when skeptics meet deniers so you can tell like, okay so this is another thing in reference to how people think YouTube is very aware that the, the main thing that's effective to uh, people is how they think. What is, is no concern? What, what, what takes, what automatically sucks the individual into a belief system? If you're talking about Flat Earth for the perspective of what and who, you're already sucked in to a belief system. Because if you're talking about the what is, the, the what that is the Flat Earth, then you have to have some kind of flat thing. You're already creating some kind of limitation. And what I'm saying is that there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with limitations. It's just that I'm saying limitations are used for growth. So if you turn a limitation into the thing that you are uh, uh, claiming to achieve <clears throat> or reach or get to or move forward with, then you're already creating something like an echo chamber that's not really going to go anywhere. You're creating, uh, you're cre like Mark Sargent is asking the rest of the world not to change the way it thinks. Mark Sargent is asking the rest of the world to change the way it believes. That's what the mainstream flat earth is doing. And it has to keep the people in that space of belief and what and who consciousness because that's the only way that masses of people can be enslaved and controlled if you start telling people how and why these pieces are fit together 
it's going to be an immediate threat. So this is why, um, like for example, the rest of the videos that are on here, like for people who don't know, the, the video I did with ODD was at like 60 something, 64,000 um, views. And my main goal in that video was to, to tell people how and why flat earth is important and how and why flat earth fits into the consciousness of all that's going on including the community that video is automatically a threat it'll be taken down it'll be hidden it'll be moved these aren't threat no, mark Sargent is not a threat mark Sargent is an asset to the system keep that in mind these these people who are not only so like lost and out there uh, they are an asset to the system because what he does in his lack of expanding the conversation in his in in that space, he's making it OK for people to turn flat earth into a non issue. The way Mark Sargent has created this conversation has made flat earth basically like a hmm, oh, it really doesn't matter it, it's a non-issue it's like the biggest non-issue available and that's why he's an asset out there he he is the one to um white it white it out that's basically what it is europeanize this conversation westernize this conversation how can this how can the biggest lie in the whole universe be turned into a non-issue? Focus the conversation on science, on models, on illusions, on beliefs. This is why you have the Rob Skibas, the Jaronisms, the DITRHs, the Patricia Steers, the Mark Sargents out there. They are all designed to uh, make Flat Earth a non-issue. And when it's a non-issue, you take the power away. And when you have all this power <clears throat> channeled into a whole community of people with this lie that is so obvious, it creates this space of limbo. The same way that you have this, this information of the Native Americans, the indigenous people, and the colonial world genociding and colonizing the entire world yet you can't say anything about it you know you see what i'm saying like that that's that's another space of limbo you have an entire group of people being caught in limbo that is exactly where the system wants to keep the masses of consciousness you keep them in limbo because if they're not in limbo they, they have to get up to limbo mark Sargent. And the celebrities and all those other people out there who are used by the mainstream media. They are used to get people to get up to the space of limbo and then they leave them there. Get them up to the space of transition then leave them there. Like Obama did. This is how the system works. You get black people up to the space of thinking things are going to change. You never change anything. You never talk about the issues. You are elected as so-called first black president. You never talk about so-called black issues. And then you get out of the presidency. You never say a word. Trump comes back in. Trump comes into the picture. Now white power is all over the spectrum again. You never say a word. Where are the so-called black people? Where are the so-called black leaders? In limbo. Because they kept following the what and the who and the, and the belief systems within those constructs and never get into the system of how and why the system exists in the first place. How did Flat Earth create? How does Flat Earth get into the minds of people and make them not think for themselves? How does heliocentrism get into the hearts and the minds of these children and, and channel their energy into a, a space of limbo. See, see, kids are caught in limbo from K through 12, kindergarten through 12th grade. They're kept in limbo 
because they're not really allowed to do anything of their own critical thinking consciousness until they graduate. So they are in this space of um, it's kind of like being in a cage and then you have, you know, somebody, you know, showing you something for so long. And then as soon as that cage is out, you, you you're only focused on that one thing because they've been showing it to you for so long. You want that American dream. So as soon as they open that cage of graduation, you burst out of there. And before you before you can even think for yourself or who who and what you are, you are already consumed with all these responsibilities that you have to do before anything just for your basic primal survival sort of needs you have to adjust to the way the system has created you 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 have if you don't think like the what and the who peoples if you start thinking like how and why you are criminalized so this is what i'm saying is, is the biggest thing that is wrong with Flat Earth right now is because they are a part of that criminalization of the people who are thinking about how and why Flat Earth is out there. <clears throat> Three years of telling, you how, uh, of, of telling you what to think about and who to focus on takes you, it takes three years. Think about it from this perspective. You had three, four years of these dopey ass motherfuckers telling you how, what to think about and who to focus your attention on. What to focus your attention on, what what to do about it, how to like how to approach the what, but that's as close as you get to how. <coughs> Excuse me. The what <coughs> the what is the focus and the what maxes out at beliefs. Now now that we see that the what and the who is designed to keep you from the why and the how, how has that existed inside the hearts and the minds of the people for these last three and four years inside the flat earth community? What's existed in there by <clears throat> keeping people... From truly understanding, understanding, and overstanding how they fit into the picture, how the interpreter, the experiencer, is actually the focal point of this entire discussion. It's not even about flat earth. Flat earth is not about flat earth. Flat earth is about the, conscious, the consciousness of the beings being manipulated to think, act, and feel them, themselves outside of themselves and into a construct of self-destruction that's beneficial for the system. It has nothing to do with uh, making anybody knowledgeable. I was just watching, there's an actual channel on television called NASA TV. NASA TV, and this, it, this was an interview with uh, Eugene Cernan, I think his name was. He was an astronaut on Apollo 10. And the whole hour and something was just him. He's dead now, but there's a whole hour of him talking about, and he said twice already <laughs> on there, that he was the he, he his job was to paint cuz he didn't land on Apollo 10 didn't land supposedly like land on the on the moon like they're telling you uh, so he, his main catchphrase is I tell Neil all the time that uh Apollo 10 we were we were the guys that were supposed to go up in, in the space show and draw the draw the white line in space to for for Neil Armstrong to follow so he can he can find the moon and land on the moon you know that whole american dream like we did it sort of mentality and then uh one of the questions asked the astronaut um what do you what did you bring to the table the second time you went to the moon because he went, he landed on the. He was the last, supposedly the last person to land on the moon, uh, whatever Apollo mission that was. Uh, but he was the first person to go up to up there. It didn't land on it, uh, but go, go around the moon. And he was the last one to to actually touch the moon, supposedly to in, in their story. 
uh, and one of the guys asked him, and then what what do you think he did when his storyline? Oh, he focused all his attention, only his response. He, he focused on how, like I told you that story of painting the white line in, in the sky for Neil Armstrong to follow. It was all dramatized. It was like, you know, what my what my family had to go through when I went up to the moon the second time. You know, they go through a lot. You know, they it's the it's our it's our wives and our and our kids and all these family members that down here on earth they gotta go through the hardest parts of you know so they they focus they they filibuster the bullshit because why and why is that benefit why is that acceptable because the who is the consciousness the what and the who so the who is what they're selling you. They're telling, they're, okay, so this is how it goes. <clears throat> they sell you the astronauts. So they only are required to sell you the story of the astronauts. It's the who consciousness. And the what consciousness is top secret. It's off limits. So the, the who people are responsible for keeping the what consciousness from really getting to the depths. So you can't know too much about a what consciousness if it's an illusion because then you'll start to see the bullshit of the what and then you'll see the bu bullshit inherently of the who. So the who keeps you from investigating and becoming aware of the depths of the what because the what is the illusion. That's the illusion. This is why the government has to focus all of your attention on the astronauts and the glory of making it to the moon. Because it's it's we did it like like when that's another thing that Eugene was talking about when he went to the moon. It's we brought everybody up there. It was color television. That's what yeah, that's what really made it. That's another thing. That's what really made that 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 mission really something because it was in color. It was in color and and that really made everybody. We, we brought the whole world to the moon you see so this this is this is the uh this is basically like the first flat earth video as far as thought processes that um you know i i wish i would have put out three or four years ago i did it in many different ways in my own way but not from the perspective of having three now four years of awareness of how it was going to play out. Um, and now seeing it. Now see Mark Sargent on Netflix. Exactly like I said. It was going to be. Exactly how it was going to be like a, a make fun of. And how these people still out there. Um, playing it off like. You know. They're, 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 Mark Sargent is playing the role of. Like being completely ignorant. Of what we're saying. Like it, for one example, just on this channel, uh, on other channels, they're saying the same thing. They have to make a conscious effort to avoid what's being discussed. This is what I'm saying. These individuals know exactly what they're doing. All the research Mark Sargent, Mark Sargent can find all the research about Flat Earth that is like beneficial for his style of approach but for whatever reason like he's not able to see the validity in the information or the perspectives that we're talking about on this channel and on other channels he can't see you see what i'm saying there's something a little fishy about that uh and what i'm saying is that it's not a mistake look he's the fourth video down on here on abc news you know, up there with National Geographic and The Guardian and BuzzFeed and Vice and all that other stuff. These are the these are the news channels that want you to think, act, and feel in the limbo space. Let's see. So, how, what, who, and why? Okay, so, the who... And the what, like I've explained it, a child will follow somebody without even knowing what they're talking about. This is what happened in Flat Earth when people follow Mark Sargent and don't even know who the fuck that dude is or really what he's talking about. They only know what they know 
of what he's talking about. Then you have the what consciousness, the people who now don't follow people like Mark Sargent, but they are following themselves because they have all the answers about what's going on. And what's that thing that's going on? It's flat earth, baby. Keep it flat and that's that. What's going on with flat earth is the only thing that matters in the whole world. Boom, there's another limbo space, another belief system consciousness that you see constantly. Um, if you're holding up hand symbols talking about keep it flat, you in that consciousness. If, you, if you're, because to do that is to like shit on the awareness of how and why flat earth is important or how and why heliocentrism uh, is important to break down. Because if you're putting your hand up and doing that whole symbol and talking about it's flat and that's that, you're not really understanding, understanding, and overstanding the depths of the relationship that flat earth really has with a non-flat earth thinking. It's not there. So that's the what consciousness. Now you're getting into the how. Now you get out. It, basically, with the what consciousness is finding out about flat earth or, or the how consciousness is about finding out about flat earth, critically thinking enough to where you don't need it anymore. You never needed it in the first place. It was just a reference point for you to find a, a, a deeper interpretation of not only yourself, but this entire realm. Because that's the only thing that will help you get out of the belief system consciousness that keeps you holding on, clinging to what, what consciousness and who consciousness. So what you start challenging yourself from going to the what consciousness to the how consciousness, now you're truly starting to think for yourself because you don't need anything to hold on to anymore. You don't need, you don't need the Bible. You don't need the church. You don't need your peers. You don't need like flat earth you don't need the truth community the conscious community the black conscious community you don't need all these attachments to hold on to you are only interested in how all this information fits together on its own just simply just so you can think critically think for yourself and see more and more of how this stuff fits together the whys if you have any attachments to the what's and the and the who's it will inhibit your ability to go to transition from the how into the why. See how see how if you keep holding on to the who consciousness, you won't allow yourself to see what's going on because you're consumed by who told you what's going on. That's one way. See how the last the last frequency of consciousness will will hinder your next frequency of consciousness. It's, it's a double-edged sword. It will help you get to that next level of consciousness. But once you get to the capabilities to going to that next level of consciousness, if you don't completely let go of the previous level of consciousness in a space of like having attachments to it, like you need it for whatever reason, for your own internal things. That's why I said your inner, internal things attached to external things like the what and the who consciousness will inhibit you from truly inhabiting the internal space of critically thinking for yourself in the how and the why consciousness. Going from what to how is like going from the lower bodies of energetic kind of interpretations of this realm into the higher the higher mind or the higher spaces like going the through the limbo space of the heart this is why um the heart and love is so utilized in uh, the new age communities because it can be another limbo space it can be another like answer a belief system answer for people you've heard this all the time what's the meaning of life love it's just love you know, a kid can give you a definition of love. And they'll live in their entire successful lives, you know, just talking about love. And this is what I'm saying. Love is another who consciousness if you are in that consciousness talking about love. 
Love can also be a what consciousness if you yourself are in that consciousness of love, interpreting love as your belief system. Love can also be a how consciousness that can trap you. Because if you're in the space of saying, well, I'm here, how are you supposed to interact with what's going on? With love. <laughs> with love. It's just going to be love. You know, what's going on is so fucked up. I'm just going to love this shit away. You know, you, you see how the new age does that and how... How the new age does it and how uh, you can get lost in that and you just create another belief system. How does the world work with love? We are just beings who are brought here from the Pleiadian galaxy to experience our love and our express our love for each other and just have a good old time. That's how this world works. And then you say, why? Why was your soul thrusted into this into this realm where all this shit is going on, good and horrible? Why? So you start questioning the whys of duality, the light and the dark, and questioning the realm itself. This is why I said once you once you let go of all that stuff you'll start getting into truly empowering yourself. Truly empowering yourself, which is what the system doesn't want you to do, which is why the system promotes people like Mark Sargent and the consciousness of Mark Sargent, which maxes out at best at taking the biggest lie in the whole realm and focusing it only on the so-called science and only on the Eurocentric Western version of how this is important. Talking about the science of flat earth is is only going to make it's only going to stir up a whole bunch of controversy to this is this is what the making flat earth only about the science of flat earth this is what it's going to do. It's going to make it's going to stir up so much need a want and a need is going to stir up, up so much kind of like that little sugar after graduation like you want to achieve the american dream because you've been waiting on it you know waiting to prove yourself for so long and waiting to you know achieve something for so long so uh dangling the mainstream's acceptance and speaking of flat earth from the perspective of science that's going to be the thing that people are going to want to, they're going to be salivating for. Like, oh, I need this so bad. I need, I, I need the mainstream media to acknowledge from a scientific perspective that the earth is flat. I need it. If I don't have it, it's just going to, it's going to ruin my life. You see how that, that's out there? And what is that doing? So when they do that, what are they going to do? They're going to get what they asked for. And what also are they going to get? They're going to get the missing the, the missing out on all that time. Three, Look at three, four years now. If let, Let's see what three or four years would have been focused on. Let's see what three or four years, what, what could have been done in the three or four years that has passed since Flat Earth hit the internet scene. What could have happened if Flat Earth, instead of being focused on the, the what and the who consciousness of the Mark Sargents, the Patricia Steers, the Jaronisms, the DITRHs, the, uh, the, 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 the Flat Earth Conference Circles. What if instead, instead of being focused on what and who, what would Flat Earth be like if it all started focusing its attention on how and why flat earth came to be or heliocentrism came to be you will doubly in inherently 
double-sided, like empower the people because you will, you will not you're not attracting people into a space that's designed to um, just steal their time. You're helping them think for themselves, not helping them think they're thinking for themselves or helping them be a part of a circle of people who think they're thinking for themselves, which is what the Flat Earth community is from this baseline science perspective. Uh, and it is, to, not to be completely, it, it is in, in one way, in, in comparison, definitely to, <clears throat> and let me get back to that too, because, uh, and I'll end it on this point, <clears throat> because ultimately, this is what it really boils down to, how you think, how and why you think that way, how you think, are you thinking from a space of needing a belief? Of channeling everything into a belief like when you talk about flat earth to somebody their responses aren't of a scientific anchor point it's mostly from a scientific belief system no it is from a scientific belief system attached to a theory that other scientists have theorized for a long time so that's a belief system that's existed for so long that it's now become truthful in the eyes of people who don't think for themselves. So that's that's what you're really arguing with and debating with. That's why I don't really get into these debates with anybody or, or any kind of uh, live streams on, on that kind of note because you're we're already starting out on some old, like, behind the curve as shit it's like why are we starting out on this why are we starting out this discussion here why can't this discussion start somewhere where it, it, if the system created an entire thought process based upon belief system and, and illusions why the fuck can't we just sit around and theorize critically think and theorize about you know ourselves why is theor theor like see and this is this is what I'm really getting at <clears throat> me attaching which is not far fetched in any stretch of the definition me attaching the system of racism white supremacy to the heliocentric deception is not a far fetched belief system like the so called white people of flat earth are pawning it off to be. It only seems that way because they are to uh, they are attached themselves to an illusion. White people call themselves white. They are in a, they are attached to that illusion. It has a power. It has an authority behind it. Globe earthers are an, attached to an illusion, a label, because it gives them some kind of power. But it's an illusion. So you have people who themselves identify themselves as an illusion. Talking about an illusion to people who are looking for deeper definitions that make uh, their beliefs more illusionable. That's basically what it is. So you have people who are in this space of illusion for themselves trying to define something outside of an illusion but they themselves are in an illusion obvious ones like i said the only way you're going to be able to get out of the what and the who consciousness is if you remove that shit from yourself first if you're still thinking this this is really what i wanted to get back to how you think about yourself will affect how you think about flat earth. If you have illusions about who and what and why and how you are, that will affect how and why and who, like how you interpret so-called flat earth. If you have illusions about yourself and you're calling yourself truthers and you find the biggest illusion in the universe, you can't run that illusion, that giant universe of illusions is not going to heal and and you know um it's not a uh 
it's not a a a, a, a one size fits all sort of all healing pill. It's not like a multi healing or multivitamin, multi healing pill. You can't do that. Flat Earth is not obscene. That's what's happening with Flat Earth right now. Flat Earth is being uh, played on the internet like it's going to be the uh, fixer of all things. Really? This is in all parts of the Flat Earth community. Going to the North Pole ain't going to do shit for what's going on to the masses of people around the world. Why? Because the masses of people around the world are still self-enslaved. It don't matter if they see a million Jesuses coming into their French and, uh, you know, knocking on their door on their front porch. It ain't gonna fucking matter. Flat Earth is just another Jesus for the people who still think in the space of what and who consciousness. <laughs>